everyone. Thank you for coming back. So we'll talk about fox face rabbit fish or rabbit fish in general today. So I have a, I'm pointing at it, a magnificent fox face rabbit fish. And if you look at the color close up, uh, it truly is magnificent. And it is a vegetarian, just like most of the tanks and some of the angels that we know. Um, this is a piece of kale that they have just devoured this morning. And the fox face or um, rabbit fish in general, if you look at their back spine, their dorsal fin, they're actually is um, toxic. So they're a venomous animal. Um, their venom is uh, quite painful. So um, you have to be careful when you handle them, just to be aware of that. So, so that's the number one and foremost important thing about rabbit fish. Number two, even though they are vegetarians, in my experience, they can and may also develop a taste for soft corals and clam mantles. So just make sure they have enough to eat um, when you introduce them. They, if they are starving or if they develop a taste for something other than what you're feeding, they can go nibble on your coral. I haven't seen them nibble on hard corals, SPS or LPS. So those you probably don't have to worry about as much, but if you have soft corals, or clam mantles or clams in general, um, just make sure that they're, they're well fed. Um, they are a little bit finicky to start with. Um, they're very timid and easily scared animal. And hence, you know, they have their self defense. So when you first put them in, in my experience, they'll take like up to a week just freaking out. And when they freak out, they actually looks like they're going hunting. They wear a camouflage collar and they just kind of hide in the corner. Um, Actually, I can show you. I have another fox face back here, whom I got at no charge from a friend, um, just because he doesn't believe he can sell it. It wasn't. In, it was actually in quite poor condition. It's still not 100% recovered yet, but it looks like it's doing okay. Um, but you see, it's kind of freaked out and just constantly want to hide behind the seagrass here. So. Um, hopefully I can nurture it back to its health. Um, it, it actually helped me clean out all the kale or um, sea lettuce in this tank. So that I'm grateful. But I just hope that it doesn't starve now that all the sea lettuce is, is gone. And um, another thing about fox face is that um, legend has it, they can live very, very long time. The oldest fox face in captivity on record is one that's in the Waikiki Aquarium. Um, feel free to visit it. It is actually 29, as of right now, 30 years old. So, um, you know, very impressive. So if you do plan to keep them, just know that they can be quite long living. They do get up to, if you have the right condition and the right size tank, they can get up to a foot long. Uh, you know, obviously larger in wild. But in captivity, uh, very seldom I see them go beyond eight to 10 inches. Right now, this guy is at six or seven, and um, I have a 550 gallon tank. Um, altogether, it's about 900 gallons of water volume. I expect it to probably grow another inch or two, but probably not too much more. And um, right now, it eats a varied diet. So, what you want to feed them is basically the same thing that you would feed your angelfish and your tanks the high protein high fiber, make sure they have a lot of vegetables, they love seaweed, and um, you can feed them some terrestrial uh, veg vegetable as a supplement, not a main course though. So I only put it in just because I have excess amount of kale right now. And um, they can be very robust and a very beautiful, fun to watch. In the past, I. They, they do get egg quite easily. So this guy actually did recover from egg after I first got it. Also in the past, I have ha had a um, another yellow fox face that had a black egg, um, which also recovered. So just be careful with that. And then um, some of the larger rabbit fish, like the one with the golden dots and then the, the gold stripes, those ones can get even larger and those actually will readily nibble coral even when the food is abundant. And I have the surrender one um, a few years ago. So just be careful, you know, know what you're getting, know what's in your tank and have a way to trap them and get it out if you value your coral more than the fish. 
but um, you know, make sure it has enough space and um, you don't have to worry about it being intimidated or attacked by other fish in the aquarium because they will try, but the fox face, because of its spiny um, ve venom spines, um, other fish won't be, be able to push them too far. So they should be fine um, as far as aggression and they seldom show others aggressions. Oh, one last thing before we part. So you probably don't want to keep more than one in your tank unless you have a gigantic tank. Um, they do show aggression towards one another. Not, they won't, not to the point where like tanks can beat up each other to death, but um, it's not gonna be pretty. So just make sure you keep one at a time. Um, you know, if you have a super huge aquarium, like several thousand, ga thousand gallons, then maybe you can keep more than one, assuming you have a lot of hiding space and they can actually form a shoal. So that's it for today. You know, let me know if you have any questions, any comments. Happy to hear from you about this magnificent fish. Uh, have a great day.